recognized that true freedom could only be achieved through political action and the mobilization of the masses. They worked tirelessly to educate and inspire the people, organizing rallies and meetings to raise awareness about the need for independence. Their message resonated with Ghanaians from all walks of life, sparking a movement that would eventually lead to the liberation of our nation, encompassing the birth of the Convention People's Party, CPP, which led us on the final lap of our journey to freedom. Tomorrow, as we commemorate these historic milestones, we pay tribute to successive generations of Ghanaians who contributed to the attainment of our national independence. It is most appropriate that we have chosen this date to honor their sacrifices, their resilience, and their strong dedication to the ideals of freedom and justice. I speak to you this evening, rejecting completely the notion that Ghana was founded by one man. Whilst Kwame Nkrumah's contributions to our independence are undeniable and unassailable. It is important to acknowledge for our self-respect that the struggle for our nation's freedom was a collective effort spanning several generations. The formation of the Aborigines Rights Protection Society, the British West African National Congress, jointly sponsored by Joseph Casey Hayford and Thomas Hutton Mills, the United Gokos Convention, the work of countless unsung heroes and the tenacious spirit of our people all played vital parts in bringing us to freedom and independence. Kwame Nkrumah, with his charismatic visionary leadership, was undoubtedly a major actor in the final lap of our journey to independence. And that is why, despite the several unfortunate things that happened on the, after independence, under his watch, Parliament, in 2019, decided to memorialize his date of birth as Kwame Nkrumah Memorial Day, the only Ghanaian so far to be so honored in our history. 